What's going on there, fellow YouTubers? It's Chris back with you guys finally after about a month and a half, two months. Uh, it's been crazy. Long story short, um, if you guys have been following along, I told you guys I moved down here in West Virginia from Rhode Island uh, in 2004. And I've been trying to um, – actually, I shouldn't say I've been trying to. What I did was I moved because the economy in 2004 was getting a little shaky, and i seen that coming. And um, uh, so we came down here. We had some family down here in West Virginia decided to um, – purchase anything i said let's just get a mobile home for now just purchase that bought it cash uh, well just recently uh the end of january we were asked to move and actually move the mobile home which i decided not to uh, me as well as two other of my neighbors had to do the same and the other four is coming too they're gonna have to leave as well which i was reassured by the way the same guy that evicted these three including us um he assured us that that wasn't going to happen that we we don't mind having the homes here it's extra income blah 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 anyway long story short uh had to move we are in our new home now and um uh, we're just happy to be here uh got everything finally set up the way we wanted to um and there you go i mean but <laughs> to be honest with you i'd rather be shot in the face than have to keep moving uh or have to move at, at all uh but it is what it is uh we hurdled it no problem we are back uh this is the reason why i've been going so long uh, and I apologize for that because I know you guys have been asking me, you know, my, how my well-being, if I'm, if I'm doing well, you know, everything's okay. So I appreciate that, guys. That's, that's what I love about you guys, my subs. I mean, that's just awesome. You guys are great. Um, so I definitely appreciate that, no doubt about it. All right, guys, this is what I'm going to get into. This one here is not going to be super long, but I want to show you some cool things in this particular uh, uh, Gigapan. In fact, Neville Thompson is the one that does these Gigapans. And basically what a Gigapan is, if you're not sure what it is, is basically you take a bunch of solves from different days. Could be like, let's say, one main saw is i'm going to throw a number 995 well you can do like uh, 10 after that and 10 before it and put them all together make one big pan out of it and what he'll do is sometimes just brighten up get rid of some of the shadows and there you go you got yourself a uh, good giga pan he does a great job on these things you you might want to check these out so anyway let's let's jump right into this i want to show you this this is cool stuff here guys this is this is pretty neat um let's do this why don't we just go ahead and make the the whole screen here and I'm going to show you this. Now, guys, not only does it look like encrusted structures of some sort or things, you can, at very least, it's anomalous. It, it, you can just tell it's just not um, a simple rock. Uh, it was definitely something else. This is, a lot of these things are being dressed to look like rocks. And I've got another video coming on after this. Um, and I'm going to show you that as well. The fakery that's going on and the overlays that's going on in these the natural photos. Most people will say, well, Chris, you know, these are not from Mars. And I, I and you know my, my stance on this, guys. I believe that truly it is on Mars. And because why would they hide it? What would be the purpose of overlaying something or artificial rock onto something, another uh, natural ground? You know, and if you're going to use Earth and photos, then, you know, they're not going to take pictures of anything of any uh, intelligent designed items in it. So, you know what I mean? You have to look at it at that point of view. But this not only shows structures, but it shows, again, guys, guess what? Water seeping out of the ground. Let's start over here from the left-hand side. I'm going to zoom right in. And this is pretty easy to see this, guys. Look at this. Right here. You've got two streams that's coming down. And it's supposed to be 3% per... I forget how many square feet, or I, I don't know if they even used yards, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, the point is, it's like when you look at this here, I mean, here it is, man, and this is not the only area in this giga pan. Well, when I say pan, because it is, if you go back, I'm just going to show you this real quick, you can see how many pitches. There's one here, here. I mean, there's one, two. You can count these things. I mean, these take a lot of work to put together. There's one, two, three, four, I believe, five, six. And just in this one area, this is, these are different solves, guys. So, And if you go back and you look at the whole picture, or the whole pan, if you will, uh, you can see there's many. Look at them all. Just look at the ridges. They're different pictures. But anyway, so get back into it. I'm going to show you this here. A lot of these things, guys, are not rocks. They are being dressed to look like rocks. And if you're not, if you're not convinced of that, you will see what I'm talking about. They're either using a faked rock. This software that they have turns uh, either they can produce rocks out of nothing and just overlay it onto something they want to hide and that will be in my next video you'll like this too um so let's let's do this let's back up just to here i mean i mean look at this look at the way this looks like it's hollow inside as opposed to see the way this comes down right here and i can actually draw this out for you guys let's do this let's go ahead and uh um well we can do this um yeah we'll go, go with freehand right here uh, but you can see right here it actually looks like it's doing this well, kind of messed that up a little bit. Comes down and does this here. But it looks like it's hollow inside. See that? It Yeah, and, and inside here looks all hollow. So you guys get the idea. It's 
yeah, it's pretty crazy here. Um, let me see something here. I want to show you guys. This is pretty neat. I don't know if it was on this side here. I believe it isn't. I believe it's over here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going I'm to back up just a little bit. Okay, so we get the one, we get two uh, areas of water actually coming down. And actually, there's a third. I just noticed this one here too. Then it looks like you got some sand slip, if you will, like kind of like just coming off here, slipping. It could be just water underneath the actual sand and causing the actual water to actually float on it. Uh, I mean, I'm sorry, the sand to float on the water as it's uh, coming down. But, um, okay, let's back out a little bit. And I want to show you, this gets more and more bizarre as you look at this picture. This is great, though. Um, I mean, some rock st st structures, they clearly do not look like rocks. Look at this. I have never seen a rock structure. I live in a mountainous area, guys. I've never seen anything like this. What kind of rock structure does that? I mean, it's like square here, different running different this, this way. It looks like the layers of rock. But yet, this stuff is being hidden. I mean, come on. Um, let me see here. Let's go over to this. This one's pretty neat here. I'm going to show you this. This is pretty neat. Look at this. This square area right here, a rectangular, and it has what looks like slots. There's one here. I'm going to go ahead and draw this out so you guys can see this again. There's what looks like a square. Let's do a let's do a fine line. Um, we'll do a freehand. Here goes across. Of course, I didn't want to do it like that, but anyway, um, let's do this. Kind of looks like it does this. Of course, it's not completely smooth. And then what it looks like, it looks like you got two slots right here. Almost perfect, identical. And you got something that looks like it does this. Um, you know, pretty crazy, guys. I mean, you know, you, you just got to look at this stuff and just go, whoa. Um, and then there's, there's more bizarre things in here that are just pretty cool, too. Check this out. This, to me, looked like some kind of weird structure right here. And I'm going to do, go ahead and draw this out again for you guys. Um, and check this out. It looks like it does this, goes across, and what looks like little fine details. I don't know if you guys can see this, but check this out. Goes up. This piece, I believe, here, see the way this is open right here? It caved in. There's the other part of it. I believe this went like this, went across and had this rounded piece here, which you see here at the bottom. See it? And does this here and then goes, it's twisted and has fallen down and has gone this way, going down. Because when you look at it, you can see that clearly this look, look like it used to go straight across almost. And then would be like this here, like I said. So, I don't know, man. I, I'm looking at this thing and I'm just going, whoa, you know. Um, let me do this. Erase that. Jump back out. And I'm looking at this and I'm going, whoa, you know, I mean, it does clearly look like it used to go straight across. Now... You guys can be the judge of that. It looks like it's hollow. It looks like it's encrusted something. It looks almost like a structure and has fallen apart. That's what it looks like to me. I could be wrong. Now, there's another piece here. I want to show you that you'll find this pretty interesting. It almost looked like to me, when I looked at this, I was just like, whoa. Now, guys, keep in mind, there's a lot to see in these photos. You just have to look at it, and you're just going to be, like, blown away because you got to look at all these, like, little things. Like, check this out. I just stumbled on this. Didn't even know this was here. But you got this piece right here. See this? Almost looks like a block, and the top of it was taken off. Um, but just look at—you got to look at every nook and cranny because a lot of times you see, like, um, let's say this flat rock right here on the right. You would think you, if you looked at it, you would. Sometimes you can actually see something almost like perfectly, like a piece of steel sticking right out of this thing, and but yet it looks like a rock. Like they messed up and didn't totally cover the whole item. You got to fine tooth comb these pictures, guys, because it's 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 awesome to find some of the stuff you find in here. Check this out. Let me see if we can find this here. Was it over here? Now, we'll check all those cluster of rocks out here. Clearly, this is just something standing up right here. And you can see it right in here. What is that? Just, I mean, you can see there's something that looks like there's something rectangular here or something square underneath. See this right here? Right there. Has something that looks like round, almost round. And something going across, straight across. You can see it almost looks like this weird beam type thing. Um, yeah, I mean... Guys, I mean, you get, people are going to go, well, they're just rocks. Well, they're not. Uh, again, they're being dressed up to look like rocks, and they clearly are not. Check this out. I thought this was pretty interesting. When you look at this here, it looks like some kind of a, uh, looks like, like a wall type thing right here in the middle at the top. You've got, looks like a wall. Now, is it some kind of thick wood that's coming apart and decayed? Or is it a, something like a brick wall of some sort? 
And then you've got what looks like, to, I'm going to use a lack of better word, a chimney. It looks like some kind of weird chimney type thing. Look at this. It's got this square piece, comes back down, and you can see it and follow it along, and you can see very lightly there's the actual wall of it right there. So that's one side. Then the rest of this, there'd be a wall here. If you can visualize that, I'm going to try to do this right now. Um, let's go like this. You can see fine line. It looks like it does this here. Comes down. Goes like this. You can see it's all like kind of like jagged and very faint. But it's right there. And then you've got, I would have thought this went like this here. And it's, it's actually crumbled over the times or it fell apart, you know, due to whatever. Um, and you can see the other side of the wall. And this here is hollow. So uh, you guys tell me what you think that is. I mean, to me, I mean, look at this. I mean, you got this overhang. I mean, yeah, to me, these look like wall type things. This doesn't look like just strictly, um, you know, just normal rocks, normal rock found, uh, well, foundations, call it what you will. This is another crazy thing. If you look right here, and this is, this is awesome. I love, this is what I'm talking about, how they decorate or uh, paste over, if you will, CGI over it, if you will. Um, right here, you can see this light colored rock right here. See that? Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys something right here. Watch this. Let's see if we can get it to back out here just a little bit. Um, all right. Right here. But look at this. Very faintly, you can see whatever it is is doing this. But what they did was they went over this whole thing. Now, I'm going to show you this when I, when I back out just a little bit. You can probably see it pretty well the way it is right now. And you can see that. See that right there? You can see the outline of they went over this. This is different pieces of whatever, and they clearly just made it look like a rock. Now, most people, I don't know what you're talking about. I mean, how do you get this weird yellowish rock, if you will, and then all of a sudden, it's you can see it's fudged. You can see it's been fudged over to look like a, a rock or something like that to fool the eyes. Again, here we go with more what looks like water seeping through. See that? And this is not the only place. You had the two on the left of the, of the pan, and I'm going to show you the other two. This is this one here. I believe there's another two of them here, and I could be wrong. It might be another picture that I'm thinking about. But let's have a look. I believe it's this picture here. Yes, it is. Right here. Even more seepage. There's more water on this Mars than people believe, or what NASA or JPL, um, ESA, all of these space agencies are letting on. It just simply doesn't make sense. So... Um, again, guys, I'm not going to make this one super long, but I want to show you no doubt about it. There's definitely water here. There's, um, and here's the thing. This is what's funny. You always see water. You never see it pooled. At least they don't show you it because they're blocking it out. But what's funny about it is you always see it coming down the side. You ever notice that? You always see it coming down the side of a hill. What's on the other side of this hill? Is it a lake? And it's seeping through. NASA's even stated, well, you're going to see this in this kind of, uh, these photos when it starts getting warmer out. Okay, makes sense. The ground thaws, the water then seeps through the ground. Well, there has to be a body of water somewhere. They're saying it's coming up from underground, which is a good possibility. Um, but I believe there's actually a lake at the top of this. And then somehow you start to see the seepage because it's not only there in this, in this photo or this sol, because you can see there's multiple right in this area, but also the one here, it showed, you know, these two here, right in that area. And you've got what looks like the one here in the middle. And I'll see if I can find it again, because it was kind of crazy trying to find it the first time. Um, it should have been, whoop, went a little too far. Back out a little bit. Right here. So, I mean, it's almost like there's a whole lake area around this whole thing, and this is what you're seeing. So, uh, it's seeping through this, this, uh, this, this hill on the side of this lake. I think it's a lake, and if not a lake, a river um, of some sort. But guys, tell me what you guys think these things are. I mean, when you look at these these items sitting right here, what do you think these are? Is it just natural found? Uh, is it, is it foundations? Older foundations of something? Is it something? Look at this right here, right here, protruding right out. And what looks like steel. I think I'm, I'm telling you guys, this Mars was ravaged with a flood, and I'm going to show you that in my next video. It's just crazy when you see this, because I've got one of Earth, um, how there was a town that was decimated by a, by a flood. And I'm going to show you this, um, that you see what you see in that picture. And the video was done in, I think it was 480p. 
So it's got a real lousy looking video, but yet you can see what's items in it. There's actual items in there and they're intelligently made here from Earth. You're going to see something very similar. There's going to be a lot of similarities to what we're seeing here on Mars. So, you know, check back with that. That one there will be coming out within the next day or two. Um, so definitely going to do that up for you guys. Uh, glad to be back. I've been wanting to get back into this. Uh, it's just been real crazy and hectic here. And again, thanks. A big thanks to all my subs have been asking uh, uh, about my well-being. You know, how's everything going? Um, and I do greatly appreciate that. And I mean that. Um, Again, it's like, you see how they think this lighted color, and they want to call it brine, which is basically like a salt deposit uh, of, of, of water, because they say that any water that is on Mars is actually, uh, you know, it's like real high salt content. Uh, I don't believe that's the case, and I'm going to show you that in the next uh, video as well, that I believe a lot of this is either made like a gold, or it's a, um, uh, a real, real light rock that they use. Uh, kind of like a capstone like they used in Egypt years, thousands of years ago on the Great Pyramids. So uh, you'll see that, what I'm talking about, and it's just more lies. It, you know, uh, tell me what you think this was. Again, this looks like it used to be all one area, just kind of overhanging straight, and it's fallen. And I think they tried to doctor this up to make it look like a rock. Look at this. Right here, it goes over, goes across, and then down. Yeah, come on. I mean... A lot of stuff here. You can see it's fudged. It's been added, so on and so forth. But anyway, guys, give me your take on it. Uh, let me know what you think on this because, to be honest with you, uh, yeah, I mean, it, it's just, it's crazy. Um, but again, check out Neville Thompson's work. He's got a lot of these. You can actually subscribe to him and check out a lot of these, uh, you know, size. It's almost 50 gigapixels, so, uh, and you can see when it's been made and stuff like that. MSL uh, 1272. Um, so check it out. I mean... He's got a lot of good stuff here, and I'm glad he does this because it makes it easy for a lot of people because here's the thing. You back out, and again, there's probably, and I'm not even sure. I'm just going to throw a number. There could be 30 sols in one pitcher. Um, it definitely could be just like in one pitcher itself. Um, let me go ahead and bring this up a little bit. And when you back out, like I said, you can see the different sols right here. You can see these have all been stitched together, and there's plenty of them. I mean, there's probably 20, 30 photos here all stitched together. So he does a great job of this, you know, so hats off to him. But anyway, guys, tell me what you think. Um, do you think these are structures that are encrusted? Um, and what do you think? I mean, more and more water every time we take a look around. I think my buddy Will just did one about uh, uh, more water on uh, uh, Mars seeping out. So every time you look around, there's more and more. Now NASA's stating that, oh, well, now we're seeing there's an abundance of water throughout our solar system and our galaxy. Well, where there's water, there's usually, not always the case, but some type of life. doesn't have to be humanoid. doesn't have to be, like, you know, people walking around. It could be just plant life. Um, life finds a way. I mean, we've got life here that lives in the bottom of the oceans next to these volcanic vents that become, like, like over 1,000 degrees. And yet they they live right next to these vents that exhausting like uh, uh, and turns the water extremely hot, um, and of course you know uh, we've got things that live uh, below the Antarctic that are well below zero, you know below the freezing mark. So it's like you know with his will there's a way. Trust me, life adapts, it evolves, it can live there. So and as far as I'm concerned, I believe there's already life there, and I've already got into all of this about water cycles, uh, so on and so forth. So. You guys be the judge. Throw your comments down below. Let me know what you think, man. I mean, uh, always welcome. You guys know that, and I'm glad to be back, and uh, I am hope you guys uh, had enjoyed this one. I got another one coming up, another Gigapan, too, uh, which you're going to see blatant lies, period. So stay tuned for that. Let me know what you guys think, um, you know, and, uh, you know, again, throw the comment down, down below, share the video, and um, I'll see you in the next video.